Dr. Melanie Lagamikas. I'm a obstetrician gynecologist. I get a question frequently about birth plans, and so the question really comes down to your personality. Something I like to tell my patients is, um, well, whether or not you're a planner. And if you are a planner, then a birth plan might be for you. Some patients, however, though, are not planners, and that's okay. You know, you don't have to be a planner, and you don't have to be, have a birth plan. The good news is, a lot of times your provider will discuss those types of questions with you throughout your entire pregnancy. So one of the questions to think about is whether or not you want a natural birth. And so a lot of times there's um, a ton of fear about a natural birth, whether that means um, having an epidural or not. Um, an epidural is not the only pain relief option we have. So we can help you achieve that goal by offering other pain alternatives, such as IV pain medications or nitri nitrous oxide. And that's why a birth plan can be a little um, helpful because it will open up that discussion with your doctor. Um, another common question I get is, do I have to have a C-section? Um, and this is something that's really a shared discussion with your provider. There are some instances where um, C-sections are inevitable, and that's due to the safety of the mother and baby. Um, something else to include in your birth plan are where do you want to deliver? Is there anything that you plan to bring to the delivery? Um, have you thought about induction of labor? What are you okay with and what are you not okay with? So there are different ways to induce you and sometimes they're medically indicated inductions, but your doctor can discuss with you options for induction. So some women are okay with Pitocin and others aren't. Something I want you to think about as well is your afterbirth plan. And that includes care for the baby, selecting a pediatrician, as well as what you decide to do in terms of breastfeeding or not. Um, and also what is your plan for your support person at home? Do you guys have any meals that you wanna prep ahead of time? These are things we commonly forget about and it's a good idea to think about them now to help alleviate some of that stress. Ultimately, our goal for you and your baby is your safety. And so even if you don't have a birth plan right now, that's okay. Because number one priority is a happy mama and a happy baby.